Welcome back to the Big Red Barn in Round Top, Texas. This is our sixth and final video from the Spring Show in 2023. I'm Franz Helwig. Uh, if you see anything that you would like to purchase, please email or text me. Um, also, buying collections and rare pieces. Um, contact me if you'd like photos or have questions about anything in cut glass. And we'll pick up with this sterling topped inkwell flip top shibler sterling uh, nice florals on top heavyweight notched line, horizontal lines and round pillars on the corners four and a half inches tall it's a good size one it's 5.95 so libby nash fern and hollow diamond cut stem uh, engraved base unique shape it is 55 similar um, twisted stem plain base uh, ferned or feathered engraving these are larger cocktails and they are 45 each it's a signed web large match holder it's got the air trap bubbles uh, controlled air bubbles in the Glass, very heavy, solid piece, 125. It's a stunning, huge 10 inch diameter salad bowl in Russian. Starred buttons, great split point uh, hop star center that's incorporated into the cutting. A really well done piece. Uh, probably one of the nicest Russian pieces I've seen in a while. It is 495. I have a single diamond poinsettia tumbler, really cool. It is 85. It's Anderson's acorn pattern with the um, flashed pinwheels. The pinwheels are some of the best in cut glass. Acorns are really cute, uh, very well done, very three dimensional. It's 895. There's a Interesting Vesica low bowl uh, has two chip teeth, so it's only twenty dollars. Always a favorite, the Hawks panel pattern. It's an eight-inch diameter berry bowl. It's signed. Um, this is the same pattern as the tray that sold for one hundred and twenty thousand at auction recently. Here's your chance to buy a bargain at only fifty-five hundred. It's a pair of tumblers in Raja by Pitkin and Brooks flashed hot stars very finely cut very glistens in the light they are 55 each <coughs> excuse me it's a little uh, open jar or spooner silver overlay it's 85 um, some small cocktail or miniature champagnes they are 55 each Really nice silver overlay cologne, engraved monogram medallion, overlay stopper. It is $10. This one has a little crack in the body, if you can see it. Um, ruby glass in a holder, um, shaker. I don't know if it's salt or powdered sugar. It's 55. There's a little bit of dinging to the top. Cute salt and pepper shaker set in milk glass with sterling overlay. They're 125. It's an oval tray with a overlay gallery. It is 95. And let's see. This is Hertel and Jacob Bavaria. Little vases with overlay um, they are 125 each uh, I have two of these sterling overlay miniature decanters they are 95 each this is one of my favorites this cologne it's a corset shape matching um, stopper it's 145 overlay salt and pepper shaker individual it's 25 the larger one is 25 also 
pretty um, florals on there. Another overlay cologne, matching stopper, 35. Really cute pitcher, um, solid overlay, sterling overlay handle, nice florals. Has a swirling ribbed effect in the glass. It's probably the nicest little pitcher I've seen. And it's 125. Two small mugs. Floral sterling overlay. This one is 55. A little bit taller one is um, 65. Solid rounded handle. Then I have various shot glasses. This is a double shot. It's 55, kind of a thistle effect. Here is a floral overlay. It is 55 also. And this this ribbed with the florals overlay. It's 55. Shot glasses are pretty collectible. These are a neat shape and sort of a deco feel to the florals, bulging bottom. I have four of these and they are 55 each. Has a spade in, um, shield in them. I have two of these florals. They are 45 each. And then two of these dip, uh, pretty florals, sterling overlay, 55 each. And this is one of the four. And then it's two-handled. Um, I don't know if this was, would have been considered a sugar. It's a little narrow for a sugar or a small teaspoon or sterling overlay. Solid glass handles, 85. And a cruet with a hammered effect, sterling overlay, and then engraved florals. And then um, enameled coloring, solid rounded handle, and cruet or oil is 75. Um, here's a burgundy or ruby cut to clear. Decanter, it's not flashed on, it's actually a layer of glass. And colored stopper, it's bohemian of some sort or Czech, Hungarian, it's 125. It's a dark ruby cut to clear bowl and underplate. Black light's strongly green, like the early glass, so I'm not sure as to the maker, uh, but it, I'm tending to think that it was a very early design in the Americans. $4.95 for the set. Uh, I have two, I have actually three of the apple dishes, baked apple by Hair Point. They are five inches in diameter, and they're 65 each. It's a ruffled rim, footed compote. Uh, similar style to Hawks, but I have not found a signature. Hobstar base, it's eight and a half inches in diameter, and this is in the wholesale section at only 145. Um, scarce Brunswick footed rose bowl by Hawks, six inches tall, five inches diameter, and it is 595. So, pretty floral and engraved jam jar, um, sterling spoon. It's got the matching lid and it's 55. The little cruet, it's similar to Jay Hoare cutting, triple spout, solid rounded handle, nicely cut, it is 55. There's a butter dish by Pearpoint in their Uncantina pattern. It's a two part underplate, perfect condition, 225. It's a nice looking whiskey jug, it's got a um, replacement stopper and there's a crack in the body and I haven't researched it but if you want a cabinet piece or just a decorative item it's only 35 and we're getting here with the trophy pieces this is a 24 inch 17 pounds of glass I believe this is O'Connor um, 24 and a half inches tall really well cut it's 6500 I always call this the elephant foot lamp. It's the only one that I know of. I'm pretty sure it's pear point. I have a huge 14 and a half inch two part centerpiece cut in this. Uh, it's a four bulb configuration. The 
lamp is 29 inches tall and the dome is 15 inches in diameter. It is 24.5. It does have prisms. <laughs> I left the box sitting on the table, but uh, I can shoot you a picture with the prisms on it. Uh, elaborate metalwork to hold the big dome. Uh, massive piece. It's very impressive in person. Very fine quality. The 24 inch tall, uh, sort of a bowling pin shape by Monarch. I mean by Jhor in Monarch. Um, very high quality, 6,500. Then here's a giant super 25 pound, 12 and a half inch diameter uh, center bowl by Lalique in the Cherubs. Really nicely done. It is 28.95. It's a beautiful cobalt cut to clear footed base. Has the fancy scallop top star base, hob diamond cutting. Really pretty color. Love the flaring top. It is uh, $18.95. I have four uh, the solid amethyst vintage water goblets by Pear Point. Bases are also engraved. Six and a quarter inches tall. They are $4.95 each. Classic queen cider pitcher, eight and three quarter inches tall, shown exactly in the back of the first catalog. It's $7.95. There's a big ice cream tray attributed to Jay Hoare, 17 and 5 eighths inches long. It's $13.95. It's a beautifully engraved hawk wine. Green cut to clear. Really nicely done work. Solid stem. Uh, Starburst foot, six seventy-five. The gold cut to clear, Russian uh, pattern wine stem by Strauss has the cross-hatched buttons, six ninety-five. Um, ruby cut to clear, elongated punties wine stem, solid fluted stem, seventy-five. Um, yellow cut to clear wines. I'm unsure of the maker, but they're really nicely done. Great quality. Um, well cut, solid, fluted and notched stems. They are $2.95 each. I have six of those available. There's a cute uh, teal blue rather than turquoise, I guess. Um, tall cordial by Val Saint Lambert. Fancy Hobstar scallop foot. 325. A yellow cut to clear Strauss wine stem in Russian with the cross hatched buttons. It is 325. It's a 14 inch diameter tray with large hop stars. I think there's 25 hop stars in total. It's 1995. <clears throat> Here's a big 19 inch tall shoulder base. Uh, great example cane cutting hop stars, step cut top. It was drilled and used as a lamp at some point. This would be a $2,800 base if it had not been. It's only $350, still a nice piece. Great bowling pin, one of the nicest I've ever seen. It's a 14 inch tall, it's black mirrors, uh, Columbia pattern. And here's a huge 30 inch tall uh, two bulb lamp. It's missing one of the prisms. It's Harvard and Floral. It's $5.95. Ask me for a show special and I'll give you a deal. There's a huge 24 inch tall trumpet vase. It's in Sultana by Libby. It's signed. Uh, great blank, great cutting, scallop top star base. It's $42.95. And there's a great cut to clear fruit barge. Uh, it's sort of uh, uh, yellow green, but mostly green color, and it's big. It's 15 inches long, and it's 32.95. It's a great green cut to clear pitcher. Hawks used this blank on Teutonic and a one or two other patterns, and it's also got the bow tie cutting that's also similar to Hawks but I've yet to positively ID it. It's $38.50, but that's a great piece. Classic Alhambra pitcher by Meriden is $2,500. 
So red cut to clear cup and saucer set. It's cut in a fine triple miter sort of basket weave design. It is $3.95. One one rated imperial pattern by Hawks, aka triple miter trellis. Square bolts, 10 inches on the diagonal. It is $4,500. And then uh, <clears throat> here's another trophy piece. It's a 10 inch diameter bowl in willow which is 1-1 rated and very desirable signed hawks great magical basket weave effect uh, one of the best examples of willow you'll find it is 7500 and then this is shown in the book of rarities it's libby's savona pattern very very difficult to find it's a big nine inch diameter salad bowl uh, panels of fruits or vesicas of fruits, I should say. Lovely intaglio work and great clear button geometric pop stars. Uh, five point over large center uh, star in the middle that uh, includes the clear button pop stars. It's shown exactly on page 159 of the Libby catalog and it is 4,500. That's a great addition to a collection. Another one, one is Nautilus, very difficult to find the actual Nautilus pattern, but this is the real deal. 1-1 one, one rated, 11 and a half inches long, 8 inches wide, uh, signed Hawks, and that's an undergrade edition, matches the one in my personal collection. And it is 6,500. And again, thank you for watching the videos. I'm Franz Helwig, and this was the Big Red Barn. We are in Round Top, Texas. Come and see us.